All right, uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. To remind you all, the people who are coming tomorrow and day after to conduct the session, uh, make sure that you carry your tag. In case if you miss, then you have to again go through a long process. So make sure you carry tomorrow and day after, just a reminder. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are left with last two sessions. Uh, this is going to be the second last. And uh, this session is going to talk about metric factorization, Boltzmann's machine and competition engine. Now, we have three speakers for this particular session. And the very first one is Mr. Abhimanyu Das Gupta, manager at Deloitte. Abhimanyu specializes in the design, development, and deployment of predictive modeling solutions and algorithm in the financial services sector. On the cups of being a designated acuitary with the Casualty Acuitarial Society, Abhimanyu brings over 10 years of rich advanced analytics expertise, including pricing, risk management, customer segmentation, marketing analytics, optimization, and actual reserving across the globe. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our second speaker is Mr. Karthik Ken Ganeshan, consultant at Deloitte. Karthik is a consultant with the advanced analytics and modeling team at Deloitte Consulting, a biomedical engineer by training with a master's degree from the Delft University of Technology, Netherlands, and has over five years of experience in research and development of machine learning algorithms in the various domains. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the last speaker for this session is Mr. Arko Snato Neoji, consultant at Deloitte. Arko is a consultant with the advanced analytics practice at Deloitte. He has three years of experience in designing machine learning solution to client problems. Arco has implemented and delivered multiple objects across media, banking, finance, and airlines industries, especially in the areas of operation and customer insights. To remind you all, ladies and gentlemen, the last session is going to happen immediately after this, as it is not mentioned at uh, the booklet, but uh, we have another session after this, and the session would be uh, taken care of by Mr. Gabriel Lim. Area uh, Director for Contact Singapore. So people who are willing to continue, uh, please uh, make yourself comfortable. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together for all the three speakers who are going to take the stage over. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the generous introduction. Audible, I'm assuming? Audible? Good. Um, we have one hour, and we're going to cover uh, at least uh, the basics of uh, recommender systems from uh, a, a very surface, from a very uh, uh, student level to the most complex level possible. Uh, the idea is not to cram too much in your head. Uh, the idea is to get you to be a little familiar with uh, how things work. Um, the idea is definitely not to try and sell Deloitte Consulting to you. So if you've come here for that, uh, you might be better off uh, making use of your time elsewhere. Um, we hope you enjoy it. We'll try and make it interactive. If it's getting too technical, feel free to raise your hand, stop us. Um, it's 4 o'clock, so it's either tea time or play time. So let's start with the game. Uh, and I'm looking for a few volunteers, especially smart data scientists uh, who are also big time movie buffs. Movie buffs and data scientists. Small subset, just one. Two, three, okay. Can the three of you quickly come onto the stage? And I need you to come onto the stage because Orko here will be doing something on the board that the three of you will not see. The teacup is okay. Perfectly fine. Okay, thank you. And for the remainder of the audience, I want you to uh, be able to see the screen there as well as the whiteboard. Uh, now the game is simple. Uh, these three, are our data scientists as well as expert movie suggesters. Orko is uh, trying to watch a few movies on a brand new uh, website, and he needs suggestions, all right? And we picked Orko because he has the best handwriting. Uh, but the three of you are experts. You'll be given a list of movies. Can we go to the next slide? Thank you. Now, if you can't read them, mostly Hollywood films, Mostly recent, I'm hoping all of you are familiar. It's a finite set. Uh, 
Orko is going to like a few films and write them down on the board. These three will not be seeing that list, but they're going to try and suggest movies to Orko. One by one, we'll be giving out uh, one of Orko's favorite movies, and you have to guess what his others are, what his other films are in that list. Yeah. Simple? Yeah. No doubts? OK, so uh, we, start, we start like uh, all of us do on Hotstar or Netflix. Uh, they know nothing about us. So I'll ask all of you to think of uh, a movie randomly. Look at Orko. Maybe his hairstyle matches Tom Hanks's, or his French beard matches uh, Brad Pitt's. Try and guess what he would like to watch. Okay, The Dark Knight, Christopher Nolan, Christian Bale, uh, Titanic, Titanic, Romance, I, okay, Inception, Nolan again. Okay, so you have two Nolan fans, and you have uh, one James Cameron fan. So far, I don't see. He's still writing down a few films. So we give him a minute or two. Audience can see this. I hope you can read this, by the way. If you can't, please come forward. We're not having a class from this. OK, I think I can. If, if you're reading those list of movies, you're already kind of making a picture in your mind, right? Uh, don't say it out loud yet. Um, so Orkut, would you like to select a movie first? Give it to your suggestor. Brave. Brave. Where's Brave in that list? Yeah. OK. Brave. So Orko's watched Brave. You know that now. That information is available to you. What else is he likely to watch? You want to go first? Okay. Frozen. Frozen. Okay. Uh, Wally. Wally. Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk Down. Okay. What's your rationale for uh, Frozen? Uh, it's, uh, it's still an uh, animated movie from the same studio and on the same games. Like a lady or a girl, a teenager, actually goes out and wins the is that is that correct? Is he accurate? No, have you watched Brave or Frozen? Does that ring a bell? Not many have watched Brave, Brave or Frozen, unfortunately. You chose Black Hawk Down. I try to change the genre and the settings so that if that connects, then I can use that as a benchmark. Very interesting. Why did you choose Wall-E? So there is a pattern emerging. Uh, two of them suggested animated movies. One of them tried to move away from animated movies. Uh, Orko, what did you watch? Uh, so as of yet, uh, Kester 3, I'm going 1, 2, 3. Okay. Kester 3 has guessed right. Okay. But Kester 1 and 2 have not hit anything in my full list over here. Okay, so good job. But can we take another step? Orko's watched? Uh, brave and Frozen. Orko's watched uh, Brave and Frozen. Now, what, what would you recommend next? Uh, a little long shot, Incredibles. I'll go with Jungle Book then. Jungle Book. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Interesting. So Brave, Frozen, Beauty and the Beast, Jungle Book, Incredibles. Um, is there a pattern? What's your rationale? Again, animation? Animation? OK. How about giving, giving us one more outro? OK. Black Swan. Black Swan. He's moving away from animated films. OK. Three other ones. Gone Girl. Gone Girl. Mm. Gone Girl. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Jim Carrey, really? Gravity. Gravity. Sandra Bullock. Do you have any of those? Um, not really. I Gone Girl was still close. I would say it's not on the list over here. Okay. It was still close. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'm saying that so that it helps them identify the back. Sorry, you guys are bad data scientists. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or your knowledge of movies is not familiar, similar with what was. Yes. Do you have a computer? 
<laughs> All right, I'll give you one more shot. Well, give, me, give us one more. Girl with the dragon tattoo. Okay, girl with the dragon tattoo. Give us all four that you mentioned. Brave, frozen, girl with the dragon tattoo. Black swan. Black swan. What's next? Uh, vintage of Sadie's. Uh, no, no, okay. Fine. Kill Bill. Kill Bill. <laughs> Casablanca, okay. From uh, the, the, the theme and the main theme of your movies are the uh, strong women characters. Uh, they are the protagonists of the movie, uh, graphic violence. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> graphic <laughs> violence. <laughs> right. So uh, I, I'll let Otto give you the entire list. Okay, so Gesser 2 and 3 both got something that was on my list. I have. Okay, I have one more. Hunger Games. So, so the. I think we'll we'll move on. But but I think you get this. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for volunteering. Uh, what did we learn from that? Uh, what does our code generally like? It's pretty simple. There was an underlying pattern, and what was the underlying pattern? He likes movies.